and along with my husband, our testimony manager. We are pleased to have with us this afternoon two of our greatest city's most important leaders, Mayor Vincent Gray and Ward One Council Member Jura. Please join me. Incredible entrepreneurs, artists, performers, restaurateurs, and professionals in every field of endeavor are part of what makes Washington's Ethiopian American community one of the largest and most prosperous. The Ethiopian Yellow Pages, now in its 19th year, helps to connect these businesses and professionals with the community at large. EYP started the Ethiopian Expo seven years ago to help bring the Ethiopian community together and share the excitement about our community and its progress. We want to show the Washington metropolitan area that our values and work ethic are perfectly in sync with what it means to be an American. Thank you to all the sponsors who helped us to make this event possible. This year, the Expo has added a focus on bringing together role models and our community's youth, highlighting opportunities for careers and empowerment that will help guide the next generation. The future of this city is in the hands and minds of our children. We hope to make this a part of the Ethiopian Expo in future years as well. I would now like to bring DC Mayor Vincent Gray forward to offer some remarks. Mayor Gray has been a great supporter of the Ethiopian American community throughout his service as a Ward 7 Council Member, Council Chairman, and now as a Mayor, we are grateful to him for taking time out of his very busy schedule to be here with us this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mayor Vincent Gray. introduction and we have a long-standing relationship so it's great to be here. Great to be here with uh, my colleague and my friend, uh, Council Member Jim Graham, who represents Ward 1. How about a big hand for Jim Graham? <laughs> and another dear friend who uh, I work very closely with uh, and I appreciate him uh, even being outside to greet me as I came in. Uh, one of our outstanding advisory neighborhood commissioners, Commissioner Alex Padro. Uh, does so much great work uh, in Shaw. Uh, I am not going to read all of my comments today, which I don't like to do anyway. It's not a delight, Jim. <laughs> um, I do want to say Happy New Year. Uh, this is the year 2005. Uh, It's also, as you've already heard, the 19th year of the uh, Ethiopian Yellow Pages. And uh, this is another way of being able to promote uh, Ethiopian businesses uh, here in our community, isn't it? Uh, how many people think the Ethiopian Yellow Pages are a good thing to do? <laughs> for me to read every word of this, but I think I won't, okay? Um, now, therefore, I, the mayor of the District of Columbia, do hereby proclaim September of 2012 as African Heritage Month in Washington, D.C., and call upon all the residents of this great city to join me in commending the African community, especially Ethiopians who are here in our metropolitan Washington area. Thank you all very much. I look forward to continuing to work with you.
Thank you, Mayor Green. I would now like to ask Ward 1, Councilmember Jim Graham, to come forward, please. Councilmember Graham has been a great uh, friend to Ethiopian American businesses in his work. He has visited Ethiopia and has supported the development of our community and businesses throughout his service as a council member. Please welcome Council Member Jim Graham. Welcome, Ahmed. No, welcome, Adis Ahmed. Welcome, Adis Ahmed. I don't know about you, but I get very nervous in foreign languages. But I do know my favorite, my favorite words in Amharic, and I want to say them right off, which is "Exabi Aramesga and Amen, Amen." And I do want to thank, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank uh, Tutu Belay and Mr. Belay, you know, who have given so much to the Ethiopian community and to the people of the District of Columbia. And you've done it in business, but you've also done it in charity, you've done it in good works, you've done it in policy advocacy. We thank you. I'm, I'm delighted to be here. I got this bag which reminded me of something. Uh, High Emperor Haile Selassie. I used to know all of his, all of his titles, his wonderful titles, but I do remember conquering Lion and the tribe of Judah and, and, and he was the emperor and everything else. But you know, he was a very special friend of the people of the District of Columbia. He was. And he came here on numerous occasions and he not only came to see the White House and the State Department, but he made a particular effort to, commit, to communicate to the people who lived in D.C. And on one occasion, I believe it was in 1952, he brought ivory tusks and he presented them not, not to the White House, but he presented them to the people of the District of Columbia and they, they are in the District Building and for some time, they were just there. But Mayor Gray, when he was chairman of the council, took the steps to put them in an appropriate case, in a place of honor, where everyone could look and see these elephant tusks and this wonderful plaque from Emperor Haile Selassie. Mayor Gray at the time was not Mayor Gray, he was Chairman Gray, but he did the right thing. And you know, something about Vincent Gray, he very, very always does the right thing once approached. And his presence here today sends a very powerful message that he cares about Ethiopia, he cares about the immigrant communities of Washington, and we thank you very much. Thank you for all your work with the 9th Street businesses. And I'm so proud that Ward 1 is the center of the Ethiopian business community in the metropolitan region. And we want to keep that, we keep it that way. We value, we value your contribution to the welfare and prosperity of the District of Columbia, the hard-working immigrants from Ethiopia. Thank you so much. Thank you again uh, for your long standing support, Council Member Jim Graham. We truly appreciate it. We have many important leaders in the DC Ethiopian American community with us here today. Thank you for coming. And now I would like to invite our honored guests to come forward and help at the ceremonial ribbon officially opening today's uh, event. There we go. About three, two, one. All right. Ready? Three, two, one.
Mas de Aranhã, na Tornança, lá tem a Expo. E que nos tomarem a meta que tem o Comitê Programa Tchim da Mascot, mas também está Tchim, mas está na Estira Nada, de Lenho Tchim. E o Penelo Pages, e o Business Community, na Rocha, na Tchim, na Remessa, na Remessa do Alvo, na Carreira Monta, na Tchim, na Tchim. ولكنك Hello, my name is College of Commerce and Technology Limited. I am a student 50% scholarship for the Jachin, the community of the University of the University of the University of the University Hello, uh, my name is Tom Rice and um, I work with Lifeline to Africa and what we do is we train people who are, are medical or health professionals to teach people how to deal with diabetes and high blood pressure. Here we have the long health, longevity health seminars. This is Peter Carstens, he's our founder right here. And this is Pastor Martinez. He's one of our organization uh, members, and uh, he works in uh, Africa and Uganda, specifically. Our headquarters is in New Market, Virginia, and uh, what we do is we teach seminars on how to uh, lose weight uh, safely, uh, Lifeline to Health, a new lifestyle center we're starting in Knoxville, Illinois. It's already been built. It's a 72-bed facility that's been donated to our organization. Now, one of the things we like to show is this is what healthy blood looks like under a microscope. And this is, but this is what unhealthy blood looks like. And so we try to share with our little van here. We go to different places in uh, churches and schools, and we have health seminars to share health evaluations. You can see this is our little studio in the back of the, the van. It's actually set up like a, a laboratory. We teach gardening, we teach cooking, and health fairs so that we give people the information how to stay healthy, how to bring their bodies back into health, get their blood pressure under control, and if they're diabetics, how to, to give up their insulin shock or their medication through healthful living. And that's our mission here in the United States. It's called Lifeline to America. And in Africa, it's called Lifeline to Africa. We're thankful that you came to visit today. Um, this is our little brochure. We have a training program. Our phone number is 845-661-5500. I'll say that once again. Our number that you can contact us is 845-661-8465. And our email address is www.lifelinetoafrica.org. Lifelinetoafrica.org. Thank you very much. Greetings, everyone. My name is Beatrice Day. I'm the founder and CEO of Vera Vera Magazine. Vera Vera Magazine is an online magazine that is designed to cater to the Ethiopian and Eritrean community in the United States and hopefully in the future.
future. Um, our main purpose is to educate, to motivate and inspire the younger generation. That's basically our main purpose. But the magazine consists of issues such as relationship, love, entertainment, and we're also emphasizing on the fashion industry. Uh, we really want to strengthen and fortify the fashion as well as the entertainment industry, and that's our main purpose for now. Hopefully in the future we'll grow, and I hope everyone will support us in our journey. We love you guys. Uh, YEP is Young Ethiopian Professionals and Networking Group, and um, essentially what we are doing here in the community is to bridge the gap between the, uh, the folks that have graduated or are going to graduate from colleges, uh, to bridge that gap to the uh, employers that are already established in the community and um, provide a platform for all of us to discuss issues that are essential in our cultural backgrounds as well as our uh, careers. And, um, in general, that's what we're here for, and we're here to also uh, connect with the um, local business owners, and uh, we have a panel discussion coming up uh, that's about to begin, and we're excited for that. Thanks so much. Happy uh, anniversary, 19 years with the, the book, and the seventh anniversary here uh, for the celebration. This is a wonderful event, and I'm very honored to be here. Conditions that I like to you know, you know, uh, whether uh, auto accident, whether uh, uh, any kind of condition, musculoskeletal condition is called address in North uh, Carolina. There are no business insurance in North Carolina. Address is Fenton Line, area 630 Fenton Street. Send uh, card approaching 301. Uh, convenient hour silent, many times the wooden room, the wooden room, and fortunately uh, they get more information at the trial. Now, uh, for those of you who don't speak English, our company is uh, Springs Physical Therapy. We've been around since 2010 and fairly new. Uh, we take all the major insurances. Um, we're conveniently located in downtown Silver Spring. We are on Fenton Street, 18. 8630 Fenton Street, Street 302. And um, our phone number is 301 585 2009. Give us a call anytime. Um, we'll be um, able to answer any question that you might have. We are Optima Kitchen Advisor Design and Remodeling Business. We've been in the home improvement business for a while and we do business in DC, Virginia, Maryland. We are licensed, bonded, and insured. And we are here for this expo and thank you for Tutu inviting us to be a part of this expo. And also we have um, an ad in the yellow page. It's our first time for the expo and for yellow page hope we would work together for next time in the future and uh, I'm glad to be here and we have a kitchen and bars and modeling business. Thank you very much. We do a wedding, we do family, uh, we do like parties, we have a studio in Maryland, we have um, like little kids, we do graduation pictures, yeah. so for a wedding or party we even provide a radio service too. efforts in the Washington DC region and I am a relationship banker with BBNT. Is there, is there something else you want to do? We're Thankful Souls! Hi, my name is Maron and I'm part of the Thankful Souls group. Um, we are a nonprofit organization based on Washington DC. We are young Ethiopians working for other Ethiopians, young Ethiopians in Ethiopia that are exposed to the streets and that have lost their parents Cases. What we do is we pretty much um, raise money and send it back home to Ethiopia for the children to enroll in Sunday school for a semester where they're given, um, they're we're partner with other Ethiopians that, work for, that go to school at Ethiopia University um, and after they finish, at Sama University, I'm sorry, and after they finish a uh, semester of school, Sunday school, we enroll them in regular school and we provide them with scholarship and our main goal is to have, um, like a pro overall goal is to have a Christmas
Christmas for these children where the, the season for love and joy and family and we want to let them know that they're loved and they're part of us. Um, so visit us at www.thankfulsoul.com. Um, give us a call and we will see how you can get involved. Um, my name is uh, Millie Daniels and I'm here representing IRunForGod.com. And uh, what we do, we have a lot of outreach programs, and right now we're currently doing a mentorship program with the Ethiopian Yellow Pages, uh, with Tutu. Uh, uh, we've been meeting and trying to get a program together, and it's, uh, it's dealing with uh, our elite runners, our wounded warriors, and to marry them up where we can take uh, teenagers um, with the ages of 12 to 18 and to uh, Get them, uh, set to help them set their goals, to communicate them with them um, twice a week, and stay in contact, and talk about um, nutrition program. Uh, we teach them about nutrition. Uh, we sit there and monitor their academics, uh, set goals for their education, and uh, also their physical fitness, and uh, to set a run walk, a program where they can get physically fit. And um, so this program will start, and uh, it's a, a duration of a six-month six program. And um, that's basically what we have here. And so um, we have three of our elite runners standing here, and we have a chart that explains uh, with some of the pictures and some of the things and events that we've done in the past. Fidel Gutarai Mibad, the judge, Hahoni Mimarupet, Benjati Tusara, Mechao Chano, Kahaska Pialutin, Fidel Chiazeno, the judge in the Ziyazuru, Kahahi Yalu, Yimarupeta, Nahulunam Kaha, Skape Yazeno, Zari. Then I know Zeke Botale, Ito Expola Yota, the year Katamau, the year Internet to Lai, Kazari Jamuru, the Kabeala Yula, Wagao, Salasa Arat, Zi Expola Matusa Wuch, and the Kanash Bahas at Dolan, the Yetishatanayalo, Na, the Juchachin, Fidel and Nastam Racho, the Yalan Kulun, Mato Pianuch. ፊደል <laughs> Ethiopian yellow pages in the digital zebraito. Ya karab no mit la visual Ethiopian chinna and na kafe and na kar dulun sila setan meta na masagdan wo de fitem damo abra na chow ye saran ye nyan community ba ba az no sara lin ders ba nasu kaspan na. ያረጋጥ <laughs> Facebook or by the channel, busy even the Tata channel, Maratu Kerino Chitinish Lay to Maragan Maratu. This is a hardware itself, it's not no software. Let's see this other chart. CDO2, and Binya Marat Masao Kiano, and Binya Dono, Tutorial Dono, and then Yeni Maslan, a mass tutorial in Yano Masao Kiano. Let's see what to Benazan of Sadachu.
Hi, my name's Robert Katz. I'm an attorney. I've been uh, working in the Ethiopian community for 30 years, and uh, I know Tutu and her husband very well. And over the years, we've uh, had many, many Ethiopian clients, and uh, I really like working with them. They work very hard. They're honest people. They appreciate the help that we've given them, and they refer their friends and family. So we really have enjoyed our relationship with the Ethiopian community, and we look forward to continuing to work with them. I've uh, been associated with the Ethiopian directory for many years and found that uh, the owner of the directory is uh, very nice and very supportive, and uh, we really appreciate all the help that uh, we've got from the uh, directory and from Tutu and her husband. Yeah, business operations manager, uh, business operations and human resource manager. Uh, basically, the Minnesota immigrant ocean, we have had this same two immigrant ocean, Katala, you Africa, Garuch, Katala, the Mukaytopia, Sarandia, Ganyu. ባላቾንም <laughs> Information that I chose. Because I want to make the application of Islam a little bit more alu. But if you go to Islam, you have to learn the language. You have to learn the language. You have to learn the language. Microwaves, Mikanyo, Rockville, Maryland. No, address such and such. Just start with Nicholson Lane. Nicholson Lane, suite number six, Rockville, Maryland. Now, but I'm coming now to Silver Spring, to DC. Now, to DC, to Maryland. Pennsylvania, Delaware, na Virginia, Catalan, uh, U.S. ra Australia gara, Green Hills lale, Nasca tracho lale, Sri Lanka ni alu malati no. I'm now basically the famous Catalan, the lady the Moya, in the tower, the local business of which guys for the area ni no, lenya mitoru ma pera ta ta thone the national, the kali jamano neger series in the north of Yara gets no ni to, to piani lo ni just ya we na just la seta na tam na maseke na ni to ni no. ታችን <laughs> I got to meet a lot of great people and businesses, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, my name is Jordana Spolda. I'm with the law offices of Jordana Spolda. I do primarily immigration law. Thank you. 
because we had a night next year with the mood, it will be more better and we will be more prepared than today. And uh, really, we thank you so much. And now in industrial maintenance, yellow page at the this is our yellow page. And you uh, sleep 11 in and 14 in you don't forget. And you can come and visit us anytime. Okay, thank you so much. My name is Asli. Um, we are a minority-owned bank. Our original location is on U Street. We've been here since 1934. We are happy to have Aston Tekle, who is the manager of our Reef Center location. We are here with a, a bunch of other colleagues, and we are so excited about the energy and the partnership that Aston has helped industrial bank to generate within the Ethiopian region. So we're so thankful to be here. It's so wonderful. ያሰኛና <laughs>